Hey, how's it going? Long time no see. This is a pop-up video I've created for you called Measure Up vs. WizLabs, a detailed comparison. My name is Tim Warner. You can find me on Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim, and here you are already on my YouTube channel. The agenda I have for you in this lesson is as follows. It's pretty simple. I'm going to compare and contrast the two, what I see as the industry-leading Microsoft IT certification prep products, MeasureUp and WizLabs. I'm going to do this from an opinionated point of view because I've been a Microsoft IT specialist for over 20 years and I've been earning Microsoft certs and teaching Microsoft certs that entire time. Now, full disclosure, I used to write content for MeasureUp, but I haven't in a few years and don't plan to go back. That's no slight against MeasureUp. I love them. They're great people and I can vouch for their editorial quality. It's just not my thing. Thing anymore. Not my bag, as Austin Powers would say. As far as WizLabs go, I'm a fan, I'm a paid customer, but I have no affiliation with them. So I'm doing this purely from me to you as a service. Let's get into it. Probably wondering from a top line perspective, okay, I'm studying for a Microsoft role based certification exam. I understand the need for a practice test. I'm not going to go the way of the illegal brain dump. You never ever want to do that. What's available? Should I go to Udemy? Should I go to WizLabs? WizLabs has a lot of presence on Twitter in particular. Well, again, here is my top line. From a price perspective, perspective, Measure Up is much more expensive. Let me bring out my drawing tools. As of this recording, what is it, May the 11th of 2021, Measure Up has a sale going on. So normally their 30-day license is 100 US dollars. But notice they also have a 60-day and a one-year. These are time-limited subscriptions. The Measure Up tests all run in a web browser, with the exception of the download SKU. Download runs as a desktop application, and that is, in fact, a permanent license. So you need to be aware that unless you choose the download SKU, you're going to be time limited in your access. Once your access completes, the practice exams will still show up in your Measure Up user account, but you won't be able to access them unless you renew. So that's a significant thing to consider for sure. I talked to Measure Up about this and asked what the deal is with this, and their thought is that in their research, they find that very few students go back to an exam prep product after they've passed the exam. And chances are, by the time they're ready to drill on practice exam items, they're within that 30, 60 day window. So anyway, that's what they said. Take that for what it's worth. I think it's a pretty good explanation. Now, as far as WizLabs go, their price is much more compelling. You can see here that their AZ-104, I'm using the Microsoft Azure Administrator as the example certification, but this really applies across the board. We can see that for 220 questions, what does that turn into about four full length exams? For $20 USD, that is very compelling when you compare it to Measure Up. Now, I want to do some analysis with you right now. I want you to consider that Measure Up is Microsoft's only official partner, their cert test provider. WizLabs is not, they're going at rogue. Measure Up, probably because of their Microsoft partnership, has to have a very high editorial quality. And I'll come back to that as we go on. I'm going to show you screenshots from both products so you can see for yourself. WizLabs appears to be taking the approach of flooding the market, getting as much product out there as they can for the lowest price they can. You'll see there's an annual subscription. A lot of times when you go to WizLabs.com, I should have given you the URLs. WizLabs.com for WizLabs. MeasureUp.com for MeasureUp. You see that WizLabs is normally running such and so promotion that will lower that price point even more. Now, like Measure Up, WizLabs practice exams run in a web browser, so you'll need access to the internet to connect to it. However, your license is perpetual. Once you have the license, you'll keep it forever. Now let's look at the interface differences between MeasureUp and WizLabs. I'm going to look at each item type, and it doesn't matter what the content here is, I want you to look at the interface and the types of questions that each provider is able to offer. Now you'd expect single answer, multiple choice, where you have the radio button control only allowing a certain one choice of the number that are there. We also have multiple answer, multiple choice. And what I want you to see here is that Measure Up is really nice simulation of the live exam. For example, the Microsoft exams will not do that choose all that apply nonsense. If there are three correct answers, it will say in the question, which three actions should you perform or which three of this or that or the other. The folks at Microsoft are pretty strong in instructional design and psychometrics and this kind of stuff. Whereas WizLabs, I'm not going to say they cut corners. I just suspect they don't have an emphasis on that. They're churning out the product. So this is good to have that, that sanity, that simulation effect to the live exam. Another common Microsoft certification item type is the repeated scenario, and you can see MeasureUp has those as well, where you've got the same 
scenario or stem across two, three, in this case it's a bank of three items, and the solution is going to be what's different. And you're asked yes or no, does this solution meet the goal? And just like the live Microsoft exams, you're not allowed to go back and forth when you're within these repeated scenario sets. So see, I'm let me go back and forth. So the only difference here is that this one, the solution is deploy. This one, you do something else. Yes or no, you can't go back. So it's a way to test your skills and your critical reasoning. This is an example of an explanation. Another thing, and I can attest to this deeply because, as I said, I've once, well, more than once, I've authored quite a few practice exams for Measure Up over the years. They want to make sure to teach you something in addition to simply explaining why the correct answer is correct and the incorrect answer choices are incorrect. This is a really brief explanation. Oftentimes they'll run longer than a paragraph. Typically the first paragraph will explain why the correct answer choice or choices are correct and then subsequent paragraphs will explain why each incorrect choice is incorrect. But very valuably you see we have a list of references and I would say 99 percent of these will go to the Microsoft Docs, which when you're studying for a Microsoft certification exam should be your source of authority for conceptual understanding. Here we have a statement analysis exam, which you have a scenario and then you're asked a number of questions and whether you agree or disagree with the conclusion. Again, these interactive item types go a long way, especially if you're new to computer-based testing and Microsoft testing and giving you confidence such that you're not blindsided. I don't want you to sit for the live exam and have to, you know, nuts around with the interface to figure out how to answer the questions. If you invest in a product like MeasureUp, then you've got that simulation, you've been there, done that, bought the proverbial t-shirt, you're much more equipped to focus on the content rather than the delivery vehicle. So here's a more robust explanation example. And then again, you get your hyperlinked references out to the documentation. Active screen, very popular item type. It's been around since almost the beginning of Microsoft certification. Nowadays, on the Azure exams anyway, you'll find it used a lot when you're filling in code because none of the exams, even the Azure development exams, have you write code. Instead, you'll see something like this. Well, in this case, it looks like we're using Azure command line interface, and you're using these live drop-down list controls to make a choice to fill in the statement. This is what you're going to see on the live exams. It might be JSON. It might be Azure PowerShell. It might be Azure CLI. It might be Python, depending on the exam. But the active screen is a good way to accomplish that. And here's another example. In this case, we're doing some Azure PowerShell work. And this is a reminder that if you're planning on taking any of those Azure exams, you really need to have intermediate PowerShell skills because you'll see constructs very similar to what you see on this measure up item where you've got variables and you've got accessing members like properties and it goes beyond just recognizing individual commandlets. All right. And here's yet another example of active screen. This one is where you're choosing an action result. So you're going to see a lot of data tables and you'll be asked to perform a lot of analysis. Now, I mean, not so much on the 900 series exams, the foundational ones, but for the associate and expert exams, absolutely. It's all about data integration, data analysis. And another very important aspect of a practice exam is that you get that experience of reading data table after data table and eventually you start to develop a little bit of muscle memory and that way when you're taking the live exam you're much more equipped to answer correctly and not get all stressed out. Select and place could be looked at as a matching exercise and I'm just drawing as a general theme. Notice that Measure Up is modeling these various interactive items. We're going to see a big differentiation between Measure Up and Wiz Labs in this regard in just a moment. And just like you see on the live exam, when you're doing a drag and drop, or also called a select and place formally, it says here that to answer, drag the appropriate whatever up to the work area, and then a value may be used once, more than once, or not at all. So another thing is that Measure Up is not a brain dump. Remember, Measure Up is Microsoft's official practice test provider. The verbiage on these exam simulations is going to be very similar to the live Microsoft exam. Build list and reorder. This is a very popular item type, especially on implementation exams, because you need to select a certain number of actions and then put them in a sequence. Again, this is worth its weight in gold to be able to do this in a practice exam. And then by the time you see the real items on the live exam, well, I think I've repeated that enough. <laughs> right. And lastly, the feared case study. This shows up on quite a few of both the associate and expert level exams in the Microsoft certification portfolio. And it's wonderful that MeasureUp is able to model this item type for you. So we've got, as you can see, where you can go from tab to tab through the case and 
depending upon how complex the tab is, there'll always be an overview. And then in this case, there's current environment and requirements. And notice there's a subset of questions that all point back to the case. And here's an example of one of those. Lastly, about customization. MeasureUp also has a huge advantage in terms of the degree to which you can customize your experience. You can do the certification type test mode where it's just like the actual exam, where you're timed on questions that are repeated scenario, you can't go back and forth. I mean, it really is a good simulation. If you're just practicing, you can actually, as it says here, request the correct answers, and you can make changes to the testing environment as you go on. If you do choose that study mode, notice that you can choose a custom duration. You can randomize the question order. You can look at just a subset. Maybe you don't have time to look at all. There's a 207 in the AZ-104 test bank and measure up. Then there's another screen, as you can see here. And down at the bottom, the drop-down list control is where you can specify whether you want to auto-show answers or you have to ask for them and all of that kind of stuff. Look here, this is pretty cool. Only show questions from. If you know which sections of the exam you're strong or weak in, you can drill on those weak areas specifically. So definitely great customization in the Measure Up product. Now let's turn our attention to WizLabs. Let's take a look at its interface. Now you have to keep in mind here that it's a rougher experience and that's for a very decided reason. WizLabs appears to be going the way of speed as opposed to editorial fidelity. And remember that WizLabs is not beholden to my Microsoft like MeasureUp is. So there's some additional bureaucratic pressures going on. So here's a single answer multiple choice example. Here's a multiple answer multiple choice and you will find, and this is one of my big criticisms with WizLabs, you'll find a lack of uniformity here because you can tell, or I can tell, you may not be able to tell, but I've been doing this for a long time. I can tell right off the bat that many, many authors wind up contributing questions. With MeasureUp, it's normally pretty consistent. You've got a single author who does a whole exam, and that gives each practice exam a nice uniform voice. With WizLabs, depending upon the skill of the individual author, you can see some deviations from what you'll see on the live test. For example, I mentioned you're not going to see select all that apply on the live exam. That's just not the way Microsoft works. And they wouldn't give you a list going from A to H. That's pretty crazy. Active screen, I put this in quotes because WizLabs does not emphasize they haven't put any development effort that I see into trying to replicate items, uh, interactive items. So the way that they do this, as you can see, they'll show some code and they'll put placeholder blocks, slot one, slot two, slot three. And then there'll be three questions. One, as you see here, which of the following goes into slot one? Then the next question would be identical. It would ask for slot two, and then it would ask for slot three. It's pretty cumbersome, honestly, but at least there's some attempt on WizLab's part. And this can be helpful if, if it's all you have. I mean, let's face it, it's all you have. It's definitely better than nothing as far as helping you get comfortability with the code-related questions that you'll find on the Microsoft IT certification tests. Again, I put case study in quotation marks because, again, I'll just repeat it, WizLabs doesn't have the capacity to do interactive items, so they try to simulate this to a degree. What you see is a pop-out. You can pop out a window that shows you the case, and this is a screenshot of some of a case. The cases are okay. I mean, the content of the questions is good for both MeasureUp as well as WizLabs. That's true. Now, one thing that WizLabs has that MeasureUp seems to struggle with is that agility factor. You'll find that the questions tend to be fresher or more current in WizLabs because of their agility, whereas MeasureUp is more of an old-school publisher where they do periodic updates, and it may take longer for those questions to be updated as Microsoft changes the underlying exam content. You see what I mean? Here's an example of an explanation. Now, the good here is that all WizLabs exams give you links to the documentation that you can click right into. That's awesome. That's absolutely cool. Also, depending upon the author who writes these explanations, you might find some are excellent, where they go into detail on why the correct answer is correct and the incorrect choices are incorrect, but that doesn't happen all the time. You'll also find, again, this is the agility over editorial fidelity argument. You might find some wacky language and some inconsistent, incorrect formatting, as you see this stray dash. You'll also see that WizLabs tends to borrow, and I put borrow in quotes because they don't, well, I guess they do do an attribution down here in the reference, but you'll oftentimes see a direct screen capture from the Microsoft Docs, as you can see here. And unfortunately,
unfortunately, sometimes it's all warped and it looks really odd. It's not a you know infidelity. It's kind of warped and probably auto resized by their ingestion engine. Here's the customization. There's not a whole lot you can do with customization in Wiz Labs. Basically, you've just got practice mode. And practice mode allows you to show the answers just by clicking a button. Some other issues with Wiz Labs from an editorial perspective, and this is a complaint I have more with the writers. It just seems to me lazy. For example, you might see two or more questions that differ only by a word, and these are not meant to be the repeated scenario item type. So you can see, I mean, I dare you to read through the item stem and find where the difference is. It's just like one word. I guess it's here it's saying WizLab App 4, and this it's saying WizLab App 3, but notice even the choices are correct. I find this lazy because it's a way, let's say that you were hired to create 50 questions for the exam for Wiz Labs. You could be like, okay, I can create four. Instead of doing one item here, I can create four, but each question I'll ask about a different web app. That's pretty cheap in my opinion. The live exams do not play that kind of parlor game, and that really infuriates me. Here's an example of an explanation that has a heavily blurry and warped screenshot. That can be annoying. Now, as far as mistakes, I tend to find more actual mistakes in Wiz Labs, and that again is dealing with the agility over editorial emphasis. Both companies are pretty responsive though, so if you do spot an error or have an argument with their content, I strongly recommend you send them a message and keep following up until they answer you. Summary takeaways. The world according to Tim Warner. What do I think? Well, here's what I say. If you're a first-time Microsoft test taker, I suggest you go with MeasureUp so you have the closest simulation to the live exam. It's going to be a lot more expensive, as I said before, but I think you're worth it. If you tend to get test anxiety, measure up would be a good choice there as well because you can take the exam n number of times. There's normally in measure up three full length exams in each product and in Wiz Labs it goes from two to five pretty much depending upon the exam. And that measure up experience hopefully will help you attenuate that anxiety through familiarity. If you are an experienced Microsoft test taker, generally I would suggest you look at Wiz Labs first. Save yourself some money. If you find an item that seems a little wonky, you've got the docs link right there that you can jump into. And if you determine it is a bug, you can file it to Wiz Labs. And they take good care of their customers, I will say that. I've seen them give out free memberships and subscriptions just as a thank you. So it might be worth your while from a social networking standpoint to do that kind of stuff. And lastly, if price is the driving point, pretty obviously, Wiz Labs is going to be where you want to go. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to stay in touch, hit me up over on Twitter. I'm at Tech Trainer Tim. Happy studying. All the best to you. Take care.